In this part, we want to figure out how to intersect two convex regions. Do you have any idea? So basically what we have is we can have two polygons like this and a second one like this and we want to intersect them or one of them can or even both of them can also be just some convex region, everything that lies here. And now we have two of them. How can we intersect them? How would you do it? The greedy way to do it is basically just compare every segment in the blue with every segment in the red and check what intersects and then we get all these parts of the boundary. So here what we want to get is this part. But that can take a lot of time because if we have n segments here and n segments here, then that already will take n squared time. And if we have the intersection of n over 2 half planes and n over 2 half planes, then that's probably n over 2 times n over 2, which is n squared time. That's too much. We don't want to use that much. But what else do we know? How can we find intersections quicker than comparing everything? This is where we use the sweep line again. We use the sweep line algorithm that we had for map overlay, the line segment intersections. And the running time of that was, you remember, order of n plus i log n, where i is the number of intersection points. So as long as we don't have a quadratic number of intersection points, this is faster. How big can our number of intersection points be? Let's look at one example. Let's say our convex region is this. This has four corners. What's the maximum number of intersection points you can get here with another convex set of four corners? That just I could get here was eight, but just overlaying them slightly shifted. Let's take a bigger one. Let's say we have n corners. Which other convex region of n corners gives the most intersection? Again, it's slightly rotated. And now we had n corners, we have two n intersection points. Is that true in general? Let's look at a single segment of the convex region. How often can this be intersected by a second convex region? Let's say it's intersected twice. And then the part between those two intersections has to be inside the other convex region because it's convex. If it's outside, then we would have two points where some point inside does not belong to the convex region. And that's impossible by definition. And now if there is a third intersection here, where is the inside of the convex region? If it's on the right side, then all those points in between don't belong to the convex region, so that's not possible. If it's on the left, then somehow we have the boundary that goes through the convex region. That doesn't work. So this is not possible. That means that every edge of the blue convex region, every boundary edge, can be intersected at most twice. So if we have n over 2 corners in the blue and n over 2 corners in the red, then we can have at most n intersection points. So the running time of this is order of n log n. And that means that the running time of our intersect half planes is 2 times the recursive call plus this call for intersect convex regions. So we have two times recursive call plus order of n log n. And now you can try to solve this recurrence formula. This you can, for example, solve with the second case of the master theorem. Or you just intuitively imagine uh, you build a tree of the recurrence and then the top level you take order of n log n time. The second level you take two times order of n over 2 times log n over 2 times and then you draw out the over 2 then you have order of n log n over 2 and log n over 2 is just the same as log n minus log 2. So again you have order of n log n time on the second level. On the next level you have 1 over 4 and you have n over 4 inside there so basically you get order of n log n minus log 4. You can throw that away again and then you're again at order of n log n. Uh, so every level gives you order of n log n time 
and there are log n levels until you get to the base case with just one half plane. So you have order of n log squared n time here. What do you think? Do I like this running time? Order of n log squared n? Of course I don't. You know, I always want order of n log n. So do you have any better ideas? How can we get my favorite running time? And this is a very special case. We don't have any segments on the plane, but we have two convex polygons that we want to intersect. And the analysis we have in the sweep line that works for all segments. But maybe in this case, the sweep line algorithm is even better. So what does the running time of the sweep line depend on? It depends on the number of event points we have. In this case, we have n corners in the beginning. We have n intersection points. So the number of event points is order of n. And then it depends on every step how much time do we need for the data structures? That's this log n part here. How much time do we need to add new intersection points to the event queue? And how much time do we need to store new segments that we find in the sweep line status? And in the sweep line status, we can have order of n segments. So adding something in needs order of log n time. So keep that in mind. It depends on how much do we have on sweep line and how much do we have to add to our event queue. First, we will talk about the very first part. How many segments do we have on the sweep line? So let's have a look at this very specific example. We have these two convex polygons and we want to intersect them. And we do our sweep line. We go from top to bottom. And let's say we are currently here. How many segments are on the sweep line? Before I already showed you that any segment in the plane can be intersected at most twice by a convex polygon. In this case we know even a bit more. So let's take the top point and the bottom point of both these convex regions. Then we have a left hull and a right hull and here we have a left hull and a right hull. And each of these hulls is a y-monotone curve. So each of these can intersect the sweep line at most once. So from these four sets, we have at most one intersection at any time. That means that our sweep line status always only contains at most four segments. And then removing and adding something to the status doesn't take log n time, but log four time, and that's constant. But what about the event queue? There we still have to add all these intersection points, and adding each intersection point takes order of log n time. So that's still the order of n log n in total. But here again, we can cheat a bit. Because consider how many intersection points there have to be in the event queue at any time. There can be an intersection point between the left green and the left blue edge, the right green and the left blue, the right green and the right blue, and the left green and the right blue edge. So there can be up to four intersection points at the moment. So what we can do is, we don't insert them into the event queue, but we have two event queues. One for the input points, that has all those n corners, and one where we have the current intersection points. And then in every step, we just look at both queues and compare the top of them. What is the next point that we take? And then inserting the intersection points we only have to do in the second smaller queue that has at most four elements, so that again only takes order of log four time, and that's constant. So every step in our sweep line takes constant time instead of logarithmic time. So we can compute in linear time the intersection between two convex polygonal regions. And, and that means that here we can place an order of n then we have two times then we have two times recursive call of n over two plus order of n. And that removes one log n here. So in total, now we only need order of n log n time. And now I'm happy. I have my running time, order of n log n. That's exactly what I wanted to get. But there's still some time left in this lecture. So maybe we can use the time and figure out if we can do even better than that.